Speaking at the annual general meeting of Reliance Industries, the chairman of the company, Mukesh Ambani, said that the Reliance Industries would set up at least 100 compressed biogas plants across the country. These plants would consume about 5.5 million tons. The time frame given was about five years. So in five years, it set up 100 biogas plants. Now, the question is, why is Reliance Industries so interested all of a sudden in biomass? The answer is that the biomass industry has kind of sparked off, it's taken off. It's a booming industry. In this video, we will take a close look at the biomass industry in India. India has been talking of biomass industry for a long time, but it's never really caught the fancy of big money. The industry has always remained languid, rather listless. But today, everybody is interested in biomass. So what is happening? Recently, I had a conversation with Mr. Ashish Bhandari, who is the managing director and CEO of Thermax Limited. He shared one very interesting fact with me. He said, Thermax set up 10 years back a subsidiary called Thermax On-Site Energy Solutions Limited, TOSEL. Now, this company's business plan was to set up biomass-powered boilers in, on the premises of their customers and sell them only the steam. So the commodity that TOSEL wanted to sell was not the boilers, but the steam. Mr. Bhandari said, in the first seven years, the company managed to set up about 15 or so plants. But in the last three years, the company set up 25. Today, it has about 40 plants, either in operation or under construction. And he says the business is booming. It's a very interesting point to note. Mr. Bhandari indeed said that biomass is one of the main drivers of business of Thermax. There is a company called Punjab Renewable Energy Private Limited set up and run by a gentleman called Lieutenant Colonel Monish Ahuja. It's about a 160 crore company. But Colonel Ahuja says that the company can very easily get to about 450, 500 crores in the next few years. This company's business is also similar to that of Thermax. Unlike Thermax, it does not manufacture the equipment. It will buy the equipment, put up the plants on customer's premises and sell steam. This company, incidentally, has been very well funded by many global investors. Today, the company counts among its principal shareholders, Mitsui, Shell, and the Neve Fund, which is a fund set up by the UK government and the State Bank of India. Punjab Renewable Energy is seeing a massive growth in business. There are many other companies, Gruner Renewable Energy, which is just about five months old, but has orders for 42 biomass plants and expects to do about 100 this year itself, that is in 2023. GPS Renewables, which has just recently taken over a German company called Proveps Envirotech. Bezel Green, a company headquartered in Varanasi, set up by Dr. Pritam Singh, who teaches at IIT Benares who has invented a reactor that can produce hydrogen from biomass. Again, there are many other companies as well. Swaraj Energy, Vatomo Energies, Praj Industries, many of them. And they all seem to be doing very well. The big question therefore is, what has changed that all this should be happening now? All these companies that are getting into business, they all seem to be doing well, they are attracting funds. Number of things are happening in the biomass industry. What is the reason? I can think of three distinct reasons. The first one is the shift from electricity generation to biofuels. When the biomass industry started, every company wanted to burn biomass in boilers, produce steam, and then produce electricity. This was really never going to work because the electricity they produced was expensive. The biomass they were to get, the availability was always a suspect because the farmers, when the farmers saw that this particular project is dependent upon them for feedstock, what would they do? Simply raise prices. So there was uncertainty about prices and there was so much pressure on cost cutting that 
the storage of biomass itself was in kind of shacks, mostly in the open areas. So whenever it rained, all the biomass got wet. The boilers had to be shut until such time as the biomass dried. So they lost generation. So this never, never really worked. People lost interest. And after all these years, India has biomass power capacity of something like 10,200 megawatts. In the last three years, we set up about 300, 312 megawatts of power. But now things have changed. The biomass industry's products have become biofuels or other products like steam. And here, a viable business has emerged. And that is giving a fillip to this industry. Perhaps because any increase in costs could be passed on to customers, a business model has developed and companies have been to go back and establish a proper supply chain for these products. Lieutenant Colonel Monish Ahuja of Punjab Renewable, for example, told me that his company would go and intervene in farmers' business, bring in technology, bring in machinery to collect biomass properly and properly store biomass. The second reason is the global push towards clean energy transition. Mr. Bhandari of Thermax puts this point in perspective. Earlier, his potential customers were using coal-fired boilers to produce steam. But now, every customer is asking himself, what is my energy transition strategy? These companies often need to attract foreign capital, both equity and debt. And the financiers abroad are also usually very keen that the companies in which they invest, that is the investee companies, do not have any process, any business that leaves a large carbon footprint. There is a global mood towards energy transition. And this is helping the Indian biomass industry. Reason number three is that the government of India is giving a big push for biomass. India produces about 750 million tons of biomass every year, which is a major resource. And the government of India has announced a number of schemes for setting up plants to make briquettes or pellets from biomass. The government of India has announced a scheme that gives up to 9 lakh rupees per ton of steam produced. For non-bagas based cogeneration plants, the government of India has announced that it will give 40 lakhs of rupees per megawatt. Here we are talking about electricity. 40 lakhs per megawatt, subject to 5 crores per project. And there are also some benefits in terms of GST. And the government of India is really asking its public sector units to shift towards biogas. So all the oil marketing companies like IOC, BPCL, they are all looking at biomass. According to the Gobardhan portal of the government of India, there are 1,137 compressed biogas plants registered with the portal. If a company registers itself with the portal, then it becomes eligible for government of India schemes as and when they are announced. 677 are operational, they are already in production. 290 are under construction. That is the scale of operations that we are seeing unfolding in front of our eyes. And this is only the beginning because there are lots of other things that are about to happen. For example, everybody is now talking about sustainable aviation fuels or SAF. The aviation industry so wants to shift to sustainable aviation fuels. The sustainable aviation fuel production in India is just about to begin. And even more important is that very soon a global biofuels alliance is about to be set up. Who are the founding members of this biofuel alliance? India, United States of America and Brazil. This idea was mooted a few months ago and it's going to come into existence in, in a few months from now. And guess what? About 20 countries have evinced interest in joining this fuel alliance. And you can imagine when we have such a global network then there will be opportunities for cross-selling your business, opportunities for networking, you can do business with each other, you can access technology, you can sell products, a lot of things can happen. 
So, in sum, this biomass industry really has taken off now after being languid for a very long time. Is it any surprise, therefore, that the Reliance Industries is interested in it?